Lemonade is nice asked me to check out the weapon mobility stat in Rainbow Six Siege. And since I've always wondered what mobility really is myself, I think it might just about be the right time to finally test the various theories on this topic. So let's get to it. As always, if it's cold hard facts you're after, feel free to skip to 9 minutes and 32 seconds, where I will present to you my final conclusion. But if it's visual evidence you want, proving or disproving the various theories, stick around and we'll go through them one by one. Lemonade is Nice has clearly been following this topic for a long time and he has already gathered together the four most relevant theories that have been floating around the internet basically since launch of the game. We have ADS speed, that is how quickly can you aim down sights with a specific weapon. Then there's the idea that mobility means the speed with which you can move while aiming down the sights of a specific weapon. Thirdly we have the idea that it simply means how fast you can move with a certain weapon equipped. Number four on the list is how quickly you can swap weapons. And finally, a less prevalent theory that I thought might be worth checking out nonetheless, and that is how your hipfire spread changes while moving. And that of course also with a specific weapon equipped. So before we dive into the experiments testing these individual theories, let's first take a closer look at what the current mobility stats are for each of the weapons. Now going through the stats of each and every gun in the game may sound daunting at first, but this is actually really simple. At the moment, mobility for each and every weapon from pistol via machine pistols to assault rifles, rifles and machine guns is quite simply 50 with a handful of exceptions and that is the SR25 which has a mobility rating of 38, the OTS-03 with a mobility rating of 36, the Ballistic Shield and Flash Shield with 30 and the Extendable Shield with 28. So it seems that the mobility stat is shockingly simple. In fact, so simple that it's almost redundant. If every weapon has exactly the same mobility, well, what's the point in listing it in the first place? But hey, I guess that's good news. It will make testing these theories all the simpler. He says in a cheerful voice loaded with fake optimism because he's already spent the last two days testing these theories and it's not that simple. And with that, it's finally time for some experiments. First up is the theory that mobility means how fast you can move while aiming down sights. I tested this with Blackbeard and his SR25 on the left and the Mark 17 on the right. The way I'm testing this is by spawning into the exact same location on the map and picking a target, i.e. this tree, to walk towards. As you saw, the movement speed when aiming down sights is exactly the same for both rifles, so if mobility meant speed while aiming down sight, we should have seen a difference. Also, comparing the movement speed of the D50 pistol with the SR25 shows there is no difference. So, mobility does not influence ADS movement speed. And while we're on movement speed, let's go to the theory that mobility is how fast you can move with a certain weapon equipped. Again, I'm testing this out on Blackbeard with his SR25 and Mark 17 rifles. As you can see, I tested it by making Blackbeard run and walk across this room. Now in order to compare the speeds, let's layer the two images. So what you will see now is Blackbeard carrying his Mark 17 with a ghost of Blackbeard carrying the SR25 layered over the top. If mobility influences movement speed, we should see a difference. And we don't. There's no difference at all. Movement speed changing depending on what primary weapon you're carrying is definitely not a thing. Since the only other weapon that supposedly also has lowered mobility is Glaz's OTS-03, I also went ahead and compared his movement speed carrying his sniper rifle versus carrying his pistol. As you can tell, there is no difference and this shouldn't really come as a surprise since Ross already tested it in his Mythbusters series. The fact is there is no difference to movement speed depending on the weapon you're carrying, so as Ross would say, this one's busted. But just to complicate the matter, I went ahead and tested the same theory on Fuse, capturing him moving once with his shield and once with his AK-12, and of course here we do have a difference in movement speed. Nevertheless, that doesn't change the conclusion for this theory. Weapon mobility cannot mean the speed at which you move while having a certain weapon equipped, because you move the same speed with all weapons, but do bear in mind that a shield will slow you down. 
Okay, next up is the theory that mobility somehow affects your hipfire spread. To test this theory, I'm going to take a random selection of weapons and see what happens to the spread indicator, the crosshair in the middle, once we start moving. If the theory is correct, all of the weapons should have the same spread, and they clearly don't. Or maybe they should grow at the same speed or by the same proportion. And I think I can certainly say that no, they don't grow at the same speed. And in terms of how large the indicator becomes due to movement, it just seems to be that the larger it is to start out with, the larger it ends up. So once again, I do not believe that this is what mobility means. Next up, I'm going to take a look at weapon switching speed. So does mobility mean the speed at which you can switch your weapons? First we'll check switching from the Mark 17 or the SR25 to the D50 and back. Compared side by side, we can see that switching from the Mark 17 is clearly faster, but when switching back from the D50, both sides are the same. So switching from the SR25 seems to be slower, just like the mobility stat would have us believe. Oh, this is promising. Uh, let's try let's try two different machine guns side by side, and since both have the same mobility, they should both switch at the same speed. No! No, why? Oh, come on! Okay, there is a clear difference in the speed at which various weapons switch, but the current mobility stats of everything at 50, with a few exceptions, that just doesn't make sense, and I'm starting to doubt the numbers rather than the mechanic. But even if weapon switching has something to do with the mobility stat, it still seems a bit weird that in my five-way gun comparison here, switching away from the SR25 was actually the second fastest after the 552. And when switching back, the SR25 actually becomes the fastest, as you can see all the way on the left. And it's this counterintuitive result that actually makes me believe that weapon switch speed is simply down to some kind of balancing mechanic rather than the mobility of the gun. And yes, I'm going to say it now, I think there is an actual gun mobility stat embedded in the game. And I also think the numbers we're currently seeing, that all of the guns are at 50 with very few exceptions, the numbers are just wrong. And since there's only one theory left, yes, after spending several days of testing weapon mobility in every which way I could think of, I fully believe that mobility is the speed at which you can aim down the sights of your gun. While I explain, I'll just let a few of the tests I conducted run in the background. You see, the thing about the mobility stat is that it has changed quite significantly over the lifetime of the game. Those of you who have been with the game since its launch might remember a time when pistols had a mobility of zero, submachine guns were around about five, assault rifles were between eight and ten, the DMRs had around twelve, and the machine guns fifteen. So there used to be a very strong correlation between the size of the gun model and its mobility stat. This didn't last long though, and in one of the very earliest patch updates for the game, the scale for the mobility rating was changed, wherein pistols pistols now had 50, and other weapons were ranked below that. Uh, for instance, assault rifles, I remember, were somewhere in the 40s usually. And it wasn't until sometime after the Skull Rain update, uh, maybe around the Red Crow patch or the mid-season just before then, that we saw almost all of the mobility stats defaulted to 50. And I think I have to agree with G-Skills117 here on the idea that even though the values for the mobility rating were all defaulted to 50, the actual mobility behavior, and that is how fast you can aim down sights, is still related to the size of the gun you're wielding. Pistols and submachine guns allow you to aim down the sights very quickly, whereas shotguns, assault rifles, DMRs, and then the machine guns become gradually slower and slower. Now, if you ask me why they would default everything to 50, I honestly have no idea. And I also find it curious that even though people have been asking about this stat basically since the launch of the game, there's never been any official comment from anyone working at Ubisoft finally explaining it. It's all been a bit of a mystery for some strange reason, and even after all of my testing, I have to say without being given proper mobility values, I have to base my conclusion that mobility is in fact ADS time on what I remember the values used to be. So let me summarize and welcome back to all of those who are rejoining the video right now. Conclusion number one, movement speed while aiming down sights is always the same. Number two, movement speeds with different weapons equipped is also always the same. And the only thing that can slow an operator down is equipping a shield, which of course only affects Fuse and Blackbeard. 
hip fire spread is different from weapon to weapon and does change differently with different movement speeds, but I do not believe that this is our mobility stat. The time to switch weapons and the time to ADS are also different from gun to gun, but judging by the tests I ran, they are not actually related. So for instance, the SR25 has a slow aim down sight time, but a fast switch time, or maybe I should say a relatively fast switch time. What this means is that when it comes to mobility, only one of the theories can be the correct one, and I believe that it's the time to aim down sight rather than the time to switch. And last but not least, one thing I can say for sure is that the mobility stat as it is right now is completely and utterly pointless and redundant. If each and every gun had the same mobility stat, then why even list it? There's no point. But even worse than that is I think the numbers are actually wrong. Maybe the numbers behind the mobility stat will be adjusted at some future stage, or maybe the stat is going to be dropped altogether. Whatever the case, as it stands right now, it's just confusing and serves no purpose. But all of those are just my ideas as usual. If you have any ideas or theories on the topic, or any thoughts on the tests I conducted, feel free to leave a comment below. It's been quite a task going over footage of Rainbow Six for days, looking at it frame by frame to try to see if any of these theories might be true or not, but I hope the result was worth it. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next episode.